Today, we are going to learn about sea anemones. They are so fun. They kind of look like creatures from outer space. So, here we go. I'm going to show you some pictures right now. There and uh, there's other creatures in here too, which is kind of fun. But this one shows how it opens up and eats things with its tentacles. And of course, this is kind of fast motion, but they look like flowers, but they're really animals. And if something comes along, it just quickly snares it with its tentacles and then they have a poison in the tentacles that will cause it to be paralyzed and then they shove it in their mouths and just eat them and they're the kind of creatures that you find in the tide pools around here and most of ours around here are greenish that's kind of but there's there's hundreds and hundreds of kinds of sea anemones in the world so anyway i just wanted you to see how that was working and how they kind of float that what i'm not going to see in here is that it has uh, a pedestal like a trunk that it sits on anyway just a quickie look at a, at a sea creature Okay, so that's what we're going to be drawing today. Good. So they're pretty fun. They look like plants. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need your paper, of course, right? All righty. You're going to need uh, an eraser. You're going to need a pencil and a Sharpie would be great and we're going to do this whole piece with our watercolors if you don't have watercolors don't even worry about it we'll just use crayons or colored pencils doesn't matter doesn't matter it all gets done okay now before we get going i wanted to show you some pictures here okay so this here this would be kind of a good example of where we're going on here this is um you can see the trunk here see there's a kind of a trunk um and then it's all these little petals or these tentacles that rest up across the top of them um they could be as small as like an inch or something or as big as a couple of feet right so they uh, there's so many different kinds and here the, i like this one because it kind of shows you the trunk here and then you can see the petals we usually look down on them so it kind of looks like that right so you don't see the under part but this part here this is where the mouth is so the tentacles bring food into the mouth as even food like a, a it can be even a little fish right all kinds of food in there and then this is more like the kind that we have here they're the greenish kind and again there's the mouths and then around the edges are the little tentacles there and then here again you can kind of see it has a trunk in here and you know what's really interesting they can actually move some of them some of them can actually move and they rock back and forth on their trunk to go someplace it's pretty fun okay and here i like this one because it shows that it actually can be with other things many other kinds of of uh, uh, sea anemones they like to be together some are solitary but uh, most of the ones around here you find them together like in little forests and there'll be other creatures in there um sea stars probably Probably are too tough for to be affected by their uh, stingers um, and some things that just it just um, they can be in a good a community they even have inside them the sea anemones they have um, algae and it's greenish not necessarily that that's why it's green here but what it does is that it um, it's it uh, does photosynthesis and gives it energy so the 
the um, algae in that that um, living around the sea anemones create uh, energy from photosynthesis from the sunlight and uh, and helps the sea anemone. So it sea anemones might sting some things, but they have a really good relationship with many other things. So. What I want to do is show you how we're going to be doing this. So you're going to get your a regular pencil, right? I'm going to use my charcoal so you can actually see it. Now, let's just give ourselves a bottom. That would be the sandy shore, or they're in tide pools. But we're just going to show this portion of the tide pool, right? And then go ahead, let's give it a pretty good size trunk here, as it were, trunk, right? kind of a trunk there good pretty good sized trunk and now here's what I like to do I want to just give it a mouth right here's this kind of mouth let's just sort of start with that mouth like that right and so one of the things we're going to be doing is overlap so we're going to do at least two layers so just watch how I do the overlap don't worry about running into anything and we could just kind of start it let's just start here it doesn't matter where we start and then the cool thing here look 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 the cool thing is that these things kind of wiggle around they wiggle around and so we can do that and we can pretend that we're seeing an enemy so we're going to go wiggle and then we're going to come over here and wiggle go in any direction you want and they're they're at the, the bottom of their tentacles are just a little bit roundish right there you can go off the page don't worry about going off the page going off the page is just fine I go off the page all the time if you don't that's okay too there we go and we're just gonna go around and around like in a circle here there good like a circle Yay, and they look, look at these tentacles, look, 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 they just let them go all over the place, look, that's how they are, they just go all over the place, yeah, so in essence, what we're doing is we're going around in a circle, right, going around in a circle, that's it, and then come to the last one, right, good, that is awesome, now, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to do the next layer inside. If it helps you to do a little circle inside to help you, you could do that. But it's the next layer is on the inside. You're going to be overlapping. Don't worry about it. Just pretend you didn't do these and just look at what you're doing here. So it, maybe it would help you to do a circle, okay? And then I'm going to start over here and I'm going to do tentacle... And my tentacles can come up in different directions. Look at this. Don't worry. Don't pretend you didn't even do that other thing over there. I'm going to show you how we can keep all of this together. <laughs> and um, let's see. That was the wrong side. That's okay. We got that. Yeah. And if they got, just ignore the other ones. And that something about creating this overlap will give it show how it really is sometimes there's a lot more tentacles than we're going to be drawing okay good and then more okay yes now here comes the fun part we did all that you got to take your eraser right and you're actually going to take the top ones the last ones that you did and follow where it went Right, so this one went over here, so I'm going to erase that, the inside of that, right? Because I don't want the other part underneath. I just want that one part there, right? Okay, we're going to find another one. Here's another one. We're going to erase the inside of that, and it comes all the way over here. Take your time. It's hard to recognize where it is, right? But take your time. There's another one here that I got erased, right? Okay, good. And then here's another one over here. Erase that inside so you can clearly see. Here's another one over here. Erase that inside, right? Just keep erasing insides so that you can see how it's going to go. Okay, you're gonna erase, and if you don't see it, don't worry about it. It's okay. It is you. You. You know, you can't really go too wrong here. There. Get that inside there. Here's another one that's inside, and. There we go. Here's another one that's inside. There, right? 
Okay, that was on top. There. Now, maybe it'll help you. If you want, you could take your pencil. Let's see. That was out here. Look here. I'm just going around again. See if I missed anybody. Did I miss anybody? There. I got that one. Good. So I might come back over here and get some of these a little bit stronger. So here's one that's on the outside here. So I might do, my charcoal doesn't erase well, just so you know. So I might do some of this. Here it is. Here's another one over here. Make sure I can see the, each one of these. There. And then here's another one over here. Good, like that. Here's another one over here. Good, and this one here. That way when we outline, which we will be doing, you're less likely to to run your lines through and that, that means the overlap, uh, you know, it's easier to get the overlap if you've erased. That's all. Now, I did this one over here, so let's go over here like that. That's the one on that side there. Yes, and if you don't get them all, don't worry about it. Okay, you know what I forgot? This is something I forgot. It has sort of a design. You see how it has sort of a design here? Like that. So let's get a little bit of a design in here. There. Yeah, just like that. This is all. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to be outlining, right? We're just going to outline. So don't worry if you didn't get that overlap right. I might not have, but you're just going to keep doing this. So I'm going to start with my mouth, right? I like the mouth part. And start with an easy one of your, of your uh, tentacles here and come back over here and find your next tentacle. This looks like my possibly my next tentacle over here. Just stay on top if you can. See if you can stay on top of these tentacles. There. Oops, this looks like another one over here. Well, I almost lost all of these. Okay, we got this. Here we are. We got this. Okay, here's another one on top over here. We're not doing the bottom ones yet, or at least try not to. Here's another one over here. Okay, here's another one over here. If they go off the page, don't worry about it. That's okay, going off the page is fine. There, here's another one over here. Yeah, and they do, they, they're, they're like flowers. They're like flowers. In fact, I was reading that they actually are named after an anemone that is a flower on land, as it were. And they look like flowers, but they're definitely animals and they eat meat and they eat little things that go by. That's what they do. Now we did that. Now let's go to the ones underneath and it might help it might help you just to clean this up what you already did, right? It might help to do that. Sometimes you, that way you can see what you're doing. If you don't get them all, don't even worry about it. They have a lot. Okay, let's come back over here. So here's this one over here. Good. You know, one of the things I was reading about was that they, um, um, hermit crabs will, attach a sea anemone to their back. So the, the sea anemone is still doing its thing. It's sitting there and waiting for food to come by and then closing up and eating it, right? But at the same time, the hermit crab moves around so they get a little bit of variety of food for the sea anemone to eat. And the sea anemone protects the crab because uh, it, it it has its tentacles that sting things, right? And the and the crab is pretty protected from things because of its uh, its shell, right? Because of its shell, so it's pretty interesting how things are, isn't it? So let's come on over here. Get this one. If you don't get them all, don't worry about it. It's perfect just the way it is. There we go, I got another one. Look, I did that one, that's pretty good. Now let's come down and get that trunk. Kind of pedestal, like a pedestal. 
where things stand on it. This is the part you don't usually see, right? Now look at that. And then here, we're going to make this kind of like the sand or something down there. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to erase, right? You're just going to erase. And uh, I will have more trouble erasing than you because I use my charcoal. But that's okay. I'm going to do my very best to clean this up there and along the coast of California you're going to find a lot of sea anemones. Now they do sting and it doesn't mean they're going to kill you that's not it and it might only just tingle a little bit but you know it's probably a good idea to just leave them be. Just leave them alone. That's okay. Leave them alone. They're, they're, just, they're animals. You don't want to be petting your animals all the time. And um, they're just really pretty during the tide pool. When the tide goes out, you can see them in the tide pools. And we have a lot of places that we can tide pool around here. So I am actually going to spend more time um, erasing. We're going to come back in a minute. I want you to get your watercolors ready. Yes, get those watercolors ready uh, by putting a little drop of water on the colors you're going to use, which will be green and maybe some browns and, and some tans. And we'll come back with a video. Okay? Good job. Okay, we are back. And I'm going to show you a quickie video here. Look at here, this is the rest of that window, but I just wanted you to see kind of how they look close up, right? Yeah, how they kind of move. I mean, of course, this is fast motion, but they are really interesting. Well, who is that? We don't need that. There. Okay. We did that. Good. There. So what we're going to do now we are going to put our color in, okay? So we're going to do the green ones. And so I want to hope you've got some color ready. And I'm going to just take my green and just start putting that right in here. Just start putting that right in there. There we go. Look at that. Yay. So they really are... Uh, they, they, the ones around here anyway, they do live in colonies and they find that if there's too many of them, they still learn how to, they have like a, a line between a groups so that they, you know, they all living together, but at the same time they have kind of a zone where this group belongs and that group belongs. And you, we might not notice it as people because we're not always aware of what all these things are doing. But they have their ways of living together, and yet they have their own territories. Yeah. And um, so in addition to that, they, one of the things that they do that's kind of fun is that they actually can divide themselves and sort of clone themselves and grow new ones from whatever is left of when they divide themselves so that they can actually use maybe a part of them they, they they grow another one of themselves when they've kind of split apart they can do that they can also do what a lot of creatures do they have they have eggs so to speak and they just let it out into the into the water and then they get fertilized and that i mean they're not like parents so to speak they they don't know their babies right they're just like out there right um and they can live maybe 50 years. I mean, they could, that for a plant, that, that's pretty good, uh, you know. So look here, I just have put a little, I like to put it slightly darker in the middle um, because I like to have, yeah, it's just a little bit shadier in there. And then the stems can be, but they're also green, right? They're also green, but frequently they're a lighter green. And let's just go do that, yeah. Yeah, so next time you're tide pooling, you're out, go check out those anemones and, you know, you can kind of realize that they have a relationship with things around them. Um, and if, if the tide goes out, uh, they can close up and protect themselves from the heat from the sun until the tide comes back in again. Um, and they have all kinds of techniques to live in a pretty rough area.
Now I'm going to put a little bit kind of, kind of this will be sort of like the sandy color down in here. Kind of like sand. There we go. A little sand here. Yeah. And um, there we go. Yeah. Now I'm not going to put in the water. You could if you wanted to. You know, I would recommend you put water, literally put clean water down first and then put your blue in. But, you know, I'm happy with it just this way because it stands out. But you have an option. You could also put water in with the chalk or put it with the watercolor. Either way, this one here, I'm just, the water's out there. There. You did a great job. Awesome. Nice work.